little bit of drama on Capitol Hill. Just a tad. Yeah, and more coming today, everybody. <laughs> uh, Brett Kavanaugh is back in the hot seat today in Washington. President Trump's Supreme Court nominee returning to Capitol Hill for day two of his confirmation hearing. But it's hard to imagine it becoming more unruly than yesterday's opening, marked by protests from Democratic lawmakers and a few demonstrators. Shut this hearing down now! I urge you to shut this hearing down! Well, the disruptions continued as lawmakers attempted to make their opening statements. There were 63 interruptions before the lunch break. Capitol Police say they arrested 70 people in total. Let's bring in attorney David Bruno. David, good morning. Good morning. All right. So, yeah, you usually see the drama at the end of the hearing, not when it kicks off. But that's what we got yesterday, which was pretty entertaining. Today is the Q&A part of it. And Democrats, we already kind of know what the playbook's going to be here, David. They're going to go after him on Obamacare, on uh, truthfulness, on his views on executive power. How does he feel about guns? I mean, these are all things he's going to face today. What are you expecting? Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, listen, and can you imagine he had to sit through that the entire day yesterday without answering a single question? I mean, that's just wrong. He had his family behind him. He has two daughters. Yeah, they're going to attack him. They're going to go after him. But you know what? There's a saying, when you're cross-examining a witness, don't poke the bear. And here, this is a very educated jurist. I mean, he's been through the public sector. He's been in the White House. He's been on the bench. He's an educator. He will be ready, and I can't wait to hear his answers for some of these questions today. Well, you know, and he, clerked, we should remind everybody, for retiring Justice Anthony Kennedy. I mean, he is somebody that really is, has a lot of, you know, decisions that are based in the business world. And, you know, I, look, I looked at some of his decisions based on employment law. He actually went against SeaWorld when that trainer died at the park. He actually was the dissenting voice in that opinion, even though SeaWorld ultimately prevailed in that lawsuit. But yet he also has sided uh, with, with re regards to racial injustice and other companies, but he's got that experience. I'm wondering if the business side of this is going to come up uh, today in these hearings. They will, uh, cer certainly, uh, but I, I expect them to focus on uh, the torture issue. You know, don't forget he's in the White House uh, during the Bush administration, and he has separated himself from that torture issue. Uh, there are Dems that say that he lied in, a previous, in his previous testimony. I think uh, abortion is going to be another big one. Business is going to play a part today, no doubt about it. I don't think it's going to be the primary focus, though. Also, we should say that the balance of power is going to shift. We're expecting a vote. They want to get a vote done by October 1st on Kavanaugh. Again, again a controversial issue, but, you know, as they're going into the midterms, understood. But at the same time, with John Kyle now taking Senator McCain's seat out of Arizona, that means 51 to 49. That means that really, unless you get two or four defectors maybe out of the Republican Party. And all the de if you get two defectors out of the Republican Party and all the Democrats voted no, that puts the nomination in jeopardy. That doesn't seem likely to happen, though. No, no, absolutely not. Let's not forget uh, three Dems also voted for Gorsuch on the last time around. So it's not necessary that they, they sweep, um, but they have the numbers. I mean, this is, this is why elections matter, right? Uh, when you control the Senate, then you control the chairs, you control the committees, you control the vote. That's what the Republicans have here. I anticipate that he will be confirmed. Yeah, well, again, the Democrats are going to have their say again today, and they're going to be making sure that's very, especially if you're Cory Booker, who's looking at a potential 2020 run. Uh, David Bruto, we'll have you back to talk about it more. Thanks, David. You got it. Have a great day. You too.